Hi guys, welcome back to Ajit channel. So in this video, we will be mainly dealing with the ovin and caprine coccidiosis. That is the coccidiosis in sheep and goats. So this is a serious problem in the kids and the lambs, and this is actually caused by a single cell protozoa, which is multiplying inside the intestine and producing many problems in the goat and sheep industry. So they belong to the kingdom protozoa, phylum Apicomplexa and class Conoidacida, order Eupoxidiorida. Family is Imerida and the genus is Imeria. So mainly in birds, the Imeria arloingi, Imeria cristenseni, Imeria nina coli kimove. So in sheep, it's Imeria intricate, Imeria bacuensis, Imeria crandalis, Imeria ovinoidalis, etc. In both sheep and goats, Imeria gilruthi will be present. So clinical signs actually include diarrhea, sometimes which contain blood or mucus dehydration, fever, inappetence, weight loss, anemia, wool breaking, etc. The ileum, cecum and upper colon are usually mostly affected and may be thickened, edematous, inflamed. Sometimes there will be mucosal hemorrhage. Thick white optic patches containing large number of chimeria oocysts may develop in the intestine like small whitish specks. And in the stool or the feces, we will be getting oocysts and also together with the blood. So these are the clinical signs, emaciated. The pathology of Ameria arloingi, that is, it is the most common and pathogenic coccidia of goats. So we have to remember. Gametocytes produced by the coccidia cause hyperplasia and pseudoadenomatous metaplasia of the villi in the small intestine, which will lead to formation of polyps and focal hyperplasia of the mucosa. In case of Ameria Christenseni, it will be mainly affecting the kids. It will be producing the desquamation of the mucosa and superficial necrosis in case of nina coli move it's actually moderately pathogenic it will be producing the denudation of the large intestine so in case of gilruthi which is present mostly in case of gods and sheep it mainly occurs in the abomasum and rarely in the small intestine you have to give a point on this that is occurs in the abomasum and the globedial schizone that is the very large schizones are visible in the naked eye with whitish nodules so in case of Indricata, it's the largest species of Imeria in sheep and Ovinoidalis, it's occurs in the small and large intestine of sheep and most pathogenic sheep coccidia. So this is very important. So these are the small hemorrhages spots. See, this is a entritis. See small, small whitish specks ulcers. See small whitish specks. Ulcerated and necrosed area. So diagnosis will be actually based on the clinical signs and history that is a tentative diagnosis and you can also visi uh, visibly see the uh, in the postmortem lesions or in the fecal examination of the oocyst. So these are the Imeria species from goat and sheep. You can see these are the eggs, the composition of eggs. See that the comparison in Imeria of bovis and Imeria arloingi. So prevention and control is proper management, proper feeding, waste management, proper hygiene and also vaccination. Thank you guys.